Hello everyone, so I don't know what to title this video and I don't know what I'm talking about. But um I guess what I'm trying to say is I got my Hapa group my mom's my paternal haplogroup group the results I got my Hapa group results I got my Hapa group results whatever I'm trying to say. Um so as y'all know, I tested my mom, and if you're a woman, you go, you you're only able to see your mom's maternal half group, and not your father's. You have to test a brother or a um, someone close to see that, right? So. I don't want this to go over five minutes, but um, I finally got my results and I made a long video and I react to it. I made a live hyper group reaction. I will upload that in the next couple of weeks. Anyways, for the ones that are interested and the ones that have been, I guess, waiting for me to make a video, this is the video of me announcing my hyper group because I think my subscribers wants to know the ones that are interested in ancestry because they told me and I said I was gonna update everyone on YouTube and. Can anyone guess what haplogroup group I got? I should have said this in this other video. Can anyone guess what my hap what my mom's haplogroup group will be? So to start off, I have three hap I know three haplogroups. groups. My mom's 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 is Native American and my dad's both mom's and dad's is Native American and my mom that I didn't know so I was so I made a video saying oh is my grandpa's father's father 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 did he come from Africa did he come from Europe the or was did he come from the Americas Asia what what I don't know and that was going to say you know I said and I think I said in my last video it's 50 50 between or more like close to african or european i thought it was going to be the one i didn't, I didn't think my grandpa was going to get an asian slash native american hyper group and anyways to announce the results because this has gone over two minutes uh, uh my mom my uncle got a a okay we know the his mom's hyper group which is native american we know that because of my mom so that still has to stay the same. It's still the same thing. And what we're trying to see, what, what I was trying to learn was his hyper group on his father's side. And it turns out it is European. So my grandpa, my paternal grandpa, no, no, no. My maternal grandpa, my maternal grandparent, grandpa, my mom said, is his dad's father 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 from many generations was from europe um yeah so my mom has like european ancestors supposedly i don't know um that's what dna says you know which is weird because if it wasn't for a dna you know i would have never get the guess this i wouldn't have never known you know i would have just gone with either african or Native American haplogroup, group but um you know because there is no history of my mom having like European ancestors but then again they say when the Europeans which is the Spaniards came um you know I don't know what happened but maybe it was during those times that that's how our family got that hyper group during those times you know i don't think it's recent we're like two to three generations you know i think it goes far back when the the europeans invaded the americas and whatever happened happened um i wasn't there you know so i can't really tell what happened but um i think it was during those times you know i have to really look into it to see if if we're like if maybe one of our relatives my mom's relatives 
immigrated from Europe, you know, because of this or that. Oh, I have to look into that. You know, there is really no evidence towards that. It's going towards like the late when the Spaniards, either Spaniards, British, French, etc., etc., Portuguese invaded the whole Americas. You know, I think it's going towards that. But I don't know, honestly. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna due to privacy. I'm not gonna name the actual Happer group. My uncle got because of, I don't know a lot of people tell me just to keep stuff private is like there is a limit towards privacy so that's why I want to keep the hypergrid privacy because before you know I used to say everything on my ancestry you know but now it's more towards privacy you know I guess due to respect I don't know but people tell me to be more respectful towards privacy so I want to say the hyper group but according to two and three minutes your paternal Paternal line is well, towards on my uncle. It says your paternal line is Europe slash Near East, and my uncle got Spanish Iberian or well, Iberian, not Spanish but Iberian, which is Spanish ancestry. You know, I have like maybe five percent. I forgot how many percent of Spanish I have. I mean Iberian. It should be on you on YouTube, but um. It's high, so I am assuming I'm assuming that my hyper group is Spanish. It came from these Spaniards, and I don't know. It's kind of confusing because maybe the I don't know. Is there more than one European ancestry that I my mom has? You know, my mom's ancestry, their ancestry is very I don't know different. It's a mixture of like. African, European, and Native American, and from where I don't know. You know, you tell me what part of Africa. I'd be like, I don't know what part of Europe. I don't know, and I don't know any of this. You know what I mean? I don't know. Understand it? I would consider her a known. You know what I mean? I don't know. I never. My mom doesn't even know. My mom doesn't even care. You know. If I ask my mom, "Oh, what's your ancestors?" She's like, "I don't know." She don't. She don't care. My mom doesn't care. She has other priorities. You know, her focus is I don't know on what. You know, we all have our different focuses. I don't judge, but um, we don't know. You know, I hopefully I investigate and learn what my mom's. You know, if it's from back then or how. And like, yeah, like I was saying, maybe I have more than one European hyper group. But even though that's interesting to me, my mom has like maybe five percent African. My my uncle and my aunt have five percent, like five to six percent African, West African. I want to know if I could find a. Hyper group, an African hyper group, so that would be the most interesting thing to see in the future too. That's one. Find my African hyper group, which is on my grandma's side, I believe, because it's on her ex chromosome. So I just need to find a relative of hers, which it's not that hard, but I need to find a relative. And I kind of know who to test, but it's kind of difficult to see if I get the African hyper group finally. But um, on my grandpa's side. You know, it's interesting that um, I have a European hyper group. You know, it shows the histories of the Americas. You know, I have like my dad is full Indian and my mom has mixture. You know, it shows how it varies. You know what I mean? How people were affected differently, like male and female. You know what I mean? Like. My mom's a female, my uncle's a female, yet they, got, they have mixed ancestry. Um, it is bizarre to me, you know, it kind of shows how, the, it does show the history of the Americas, how the Africans were mixing with the Indians and the Europeans and etc. You know, for who knows what reason, and I don't know, you know, it might have been love, it might have been something else, it might have been who knows what, I don't know, I don't know. I can't figure this out. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. But yeah. Um, anything else? I guess I, I want to talk about the my uncle's 
let me just try to log in real quick but this video is going for too long already i'm so sorry let me just see what my uncle got as results for, for ancestry results i'm so sorry i'm taking forever this should have been a five minute video yet i turned into a longest video okay my uncle got let's see come on okay my uncle got like 60 percent native american 30 percent european and like four percent sub-saharan african like 1.8 percent middle eastern or North northern african i don't know about any of that shit i don't know that african i do believe you know european i do believe um the highest that that i that my uncle gets is 9.9 .9, like around 10 percent iberian so i'm making the connections here where it's like okay these spaniards invaded you know the whole americas So, I'm going towards that, and the next one, which is 0 0.1, is Sardinian, you know, which I talk in my video where I do the life hyper group reactions, like, what is Sardinian? And the, it's like, Southern European 11% unknown, uh, my uncle gets Northern Europe 2.3, which is unknown, and my uncle gets, um, Ashkenazi, 1.4 Ashkenazi, which I think is Jewish, or it might be a Jewish country, I don't know. I'm not really sure, it might be Jewish. It's 1.4. Um, I don't think my family is Jewish at all, or Ashkenazi, I don't believe, I don't know, I don't think that's, I don't know, understand any of that, but um, I think like what I've seen in my ancestry results, you know, as y'all know, I mean, I know, I thought, you, I don't know, if you, if you don't understand, um, uh, on my ancestry results, the ancestry.com DNA results, I get like Great Britain, right? Is that Great Britain? I get like Iberian is the lowest on my ancestry results, which means, you know, maybe something happened to, I don't know, like, how do I say this? Maybe, well, am I, what if like, those races were Spanish and like with French or maybe British, French and British or something. Like that. I don't know. That's what I'm trying to understand. Uh, because ancestry has different results too. Um, Iberian is the lowest, but on 23Me, all my family gets Iberian, which is the highest. So that's kind of confusing, but I'm, I kind of, I kind of believe 23Me more than ancestry DNA. But who knows you know I don't know they have to update both of their systems and I agree with both tests so yeah that's it thanks for watching